Fly is a new movie that was playing in two day IMAX event. I'm not sure if they're going to expand it at all, but I did want to review it because I actually really enjoyed this movie. And, um, and this now, now I did say Fly, so don't confuse this with the Jeff Goldblum movie, The Fly. This is not that. <laughs> I'm kidding. But, um, this movie is a bit, well, not a, well, it is a movie. There is a debate with people. Do you call a documentary a movie? Yes. And I say that because um, a movie is is some is a piece of film that or digital film, whatever. It's still film, right? But they um, that they craft to tell a story piece by piece via editing, whatever tricks, filmmaking skills, right? And documentaries are kind of this other thing where people go, well, it's not really a movie, it's a documentary, you know. Well, no, because documentaries, you still have to craft a narrative to make the documentary flow. Like, it's not a good documentary if there isn't a narrative. Not narrative in terms of, like, oh, it has, uh, it has a point it wants to make, like, politically or otherwise. Not that kind of narrative, more just it's telling you a story. And that story has to have, like, a through line to a document. Um, great documentaries have this. And that's why there's people like Scorsese who actually make and craft uh, documentaries, you know. Um, they, they direct their movies and they direct documentaries. Because at the end of the day, you do have to craft a story. So it is a piece of filmmaking. Um... Also, the other thing people should acknowledge with documentaries, not every documentary is accurate. That's why you get like a lot of uh, like political documentaries that are crafting you a story and they're not accurate. Because, you know, you can do that. And it is a piece of filmmaking and that part sucks. But you just, you know, always fact check your documentaries. Anyways, that's all a side tangent. I just want to explain why I'm reviewing this movie in a sense and why I feel like, you know, it is a film even though some people might have that certain debate. Um, so, like I said, this is a two-night event in IMAX. I went on discount day, so I got my ticket for, like, literally, like, ten bucks. And I'm glad I went to go do it. It was in a very empty IMAX, because it was only showing, like, two nights uh, and two showtimes each day. And this is a documentary crafted by National Geographic about the skydivers. And... Um, and it has a very emotional center to it with these people's story and their struggles and everything they dealt with and why they have such a want to fly and be in the air and what that means to them and things like that. And it's truly beautiful. And it even starts with a, a, a quote. I, um, I think it was Leonardo da Vinci. I, couldn't remember, I can't remember. Could be mixing up people. Anyways, he uh, a quote about him you know, people's desire to taste flight and what that feels like. And, and you really feel that throughout this whole documentary. It is really great. And what's really great, too, is it's seeing an IMAX because these flying scenes and some of the cinematography and the way they capture this, like, flying sequences are just absolutely incredible make you want to feel in the air. And, of course, a uh, nice thing about my theater uh, here in town with the IMAX, they have seats upstairs right via an elevator so I go upstairs and I'm sitting way up high but I'm also getting this great view and of, of everything and it's just great stuff and the sound like I'm right near the speaker so you can hear the sound really well very clear and there's not a lot of people in this theater so you could like literally hear a pin drop in this theater while everything's flying around really neat and it, it's just a great sequence it's a great movie um, because, it, not, you know, the te technical crafts of making this documentary, you see that fully on display, especially when you're seeing it in the IMAX screen. But you're also seeing, um, you know, just the heart and center of these people and their struggles and stuff that, you know, are just really powerful stuff. And I think this documentary has a lot going for it. Um, I would not, I, you know, I usually don't care too much this is one of those documentaries I would not object to it getting a best uh, documentary nomination at the Oscars this year. They really, you can tell the people put a lot into this and it was very emotionally driven and it's just really great. Um, I don't know, you know, 
don't know. This is a really strong document. 